Guys, it's your boy Clint Wolf, the Mobile Messiah, and we are back with some more Guardian Tales content. And today it's time for me to save you guys from making a huge mistake, and that is spending all your damn gems on the upcoming hero, Drunken Sword Master Lin. Now, guys, this has nothing to do with Lin herself. I have nothing against the Lin crew. If you stand Lin, I ain't got nothing against you. That's fine. That's on you. But I'm just telling my Wolf Pack. Just keep your gems in your wallet. Do not pull them out for this upcoming banner. And we're gonna talk about why in this video. Let's get it. All right, guys, so my one and only mission today is to somehow convince you to skip over a hero that will actually serve you pretty well in the arena. And we are talking about the brand new fire element hero coming to the global servers in less than 24 hours now. Drunken Sword Master Lin. All right, now we're going to talk about should you summon Drunken Sword Master Lin, but mainly I'm going to be trying to convince you why you shouldn't be summoning on any of these upcoming banners, really. But we do have Drunken Sword Master Lin, we have Plit Vice, and we have Dark Magician Beth on this current cycle, and that lends me to give you some interesting advice. If you already have Dark Magician Beth, or you already have her weapon, go ahead and throw a couple of summons towards trying to get the matching piece, whether it's the actual hero or the weapon. Go ahead and try to get Dark Magician Beth, but we're gonna talk about that in a second. Let's go ahead and take a look at Lin's kit real quick. She has the Drunken Chef normal attacking style that gives her Drunken Swordsmanship and her Flame Martial Arts, which is going to help her breathe some fire, damage enemies, and give her a nice little attack buff for 30% by four, 4 seconds, guys. So that's actually very, very arena viable. That's why she's a good 101 hero she does have that personal attack boost though none of her abilities or anything like that helps a team as her special ability is just going to lower the damage that is inflicted while she's recharging her normal attack or when it needs charge she'll get a 30 percent damage reduction so she gets a little bit more tanky um she does have a good natural base stats her attack is actually pretty high, it's in the 900s, her defense is in the 300s, and her HP is like 24k, we're gonna look at that in a second, but her exclusive weapons effect can actually be completely canceled out by a simple card, and that's gonna be the Dim Sighted Witch card, and then there's another one that's recently released as well, but that card is going to negate 100% of injury damage, so if you are facing a bunch of lens in the arena, you can obviously put that card on your lead hero or the hero you think you might match up with Lin with, and she won't really do nearly as much of that damage over time that she would normally do with her exclusive weapon. But if we go to the Coliseum, man, Drunken sword master lin is literally nowhere to be seen and a lot of that has to do with some of what i just talked about as you just saw even though she does have that personal attack buff she doesn't really have anything that helps a team yes her party ability is melee attack plus 50 percent which will help in lineups that include marina that include dark magician beth that include agma which is why we see marina making a comeback in the arena when we do go look at the arena leaderboards you will see a ton more marinas you will see a good amount of lens but on this coliseum leaderboard you ain't seeing none of that guys so lynn absolutely will not help you in the coliseum and honestly she won't really help you too much in like coliseum like game modes like orbital live camazon land that sort of thing she won't help you any more than other dps heroes will i'll put it like that all right so the Coliseum doesn't make Lin a must summon, but if we go ahead and go over to the brand new shiny multiplayer tab and actually click arena, and we take a look at the arena rankings, you automatically see Lin in the top four spots three times, guys. So number one, number two, and number four are all using Lin in their party. And then that kind of, you know, that trend kind of sticks throughout the actual leaderboard, all right? So, Drunken Swordmaster Lin is a good arena hero just because her playstyle lends her to be. Um, her normal attack is essentially like a freaking bubble of damage. You can't really get close to her without damaging yourself if she, if she is on the attack. 
um her attack buff of course that's great her exclusive weapon is going to add a fire damage over time if you're not using that injury card so that's going to add a ton more damage on top of the fact that she already does a really good amount of natural damage guys so if you are looking for an arena hero and you just do not want to wait on the advice i'm about to give you in this video then drunken sword master lin is a good hero to go for now one thing to keep in note on this current banner though y'all one thing i do want y'all to remember there are no event missions for summoning heroes or equipment so technically this could be a skip banner with real with really no repercussions there will be really no repercussions if you did a skip banner on this. You wouldn't be missing out on any extra mileage tickets, any extra hero crystals, anything like that. So there are no event missions for actually summoning on either banner, guys. So just kind of, you know, keep that in mind. Though there is a new short story that's going to come along with Drunken Swordmaster Lin. And we're going to go kind of jump into it just a little bit so you guys kind of see what's going on here. But mostly it's a short story detailing her past and whatnot. But while we're playing through this, let me talk to y'all about why you shouldn't summon on Drunken Swords Master Lin or any other upcoming hero until we officially enter Season 2. Once they drop a banner in-game that's letting us know, hey, this is the start of Season 2 Guardian Tales officially, that's when you can unvault your gems. Until then, guys, I highly 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 recommend stashing your gems if you like have a team that you're trying to build just try to build on that team there's only like two three really good heroes that you honestly really really need before season two don't worry about trying to rank real high in the arena coliseum just rank diamond rank platinum get enough to get a decent amount of gems do not worry about trying to be too competitive over the next two to four weeks guys until season two really starts this is your time to start saving gems again it has nothing to do with drunken swords master lynn she is good in the arena she's not too good in the coliseum she has a decently fun play style but guys you do not need her and this is absolutely a trap banner this is just a new year's hero a chinese new year's hero that they threw in for us guys this is a trap banner i recommend waiting to season two heroes start dropping i'm going to have a video on the upcoming hero potentially to start season two i know chapter 11 is dropping so i don't know if that's the official start of season two but i have a video a video on the upcoming hero tomorrow so just wait even when she drops if you feel like you want to summon just wait for me to drop the video detailing who the next hero will be before you spend any gym so you don't have any regrets i have a real good suspicion that we're going to see a major power creep with these season two heroes guys they're probably going to start coming with dual elements dual usages they're going to be op i'm telling you they're probably going to make a lot of the other heroes feel really weak because usually when games go into like a new season of the game they want to you know try all their new bells and whistles like that and guardian tells loves their heroes their loves their creativeness so i know that these heroes that are going to be coming in season two whether they're dungeon link heroes or not are going to be worth the salt so just hold off on your gems hold off on your mileage tickets do not fall for the trap do not summon for drunken swords master lin i know it's very 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 tempting guys just don't summon if you really have to do one two multi summons see if you get her on the first or second summon but after that leave it alone if you listen to my advice, good on you. If not, good on you. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. As always, I do this for Wolfpack, and we out.